So I go back now, as I said, I've been Muslim nearly now for eight years, alhamdulillah. So I came from a Christian background where my parents would weekly go to a Christian church. And this was once a church and now, alhamdulillah, a masjid. I, uh, I want to take you back. Hello Muslim friends of the world. Every person's spiritual journey has its own story that makes him remember it throughout his life. Especially when someone decides to change beliefs, of course there will be turmoil in the heart because it is a big decision that cannot be done carelessly. A man from England named Yusuf Oak is one of them who has a unique story behind his decision to convert to Islam. Yusuf used to work at the Manchester United Football Club and spent a lot of time around the stadium. While working, Yusuf Oak found a Quran in the stadium. For him, of course this was not a normal thing because the Muslim holy book was not in its proper place, namely in the middle of a crowd of football spectators. I used to work at Manchester United Football Club. So, at that time I was working and I discovered something very obligatory. A jib means very strange, unusual, said Yusuf Oak. I found a Quran. Not outside the stadium, but inside the stadium. This Al Quran is in the middle of a crowd of football fans, he added. Seeing that the holy book was in the wrong place, Yusuf immediately took it home and put it on the bedside table. He received protests from his wife who even intended to throw the Quran in the trash. Even though he had not yet converted to Islam, Joseph opposed his wife who wanted to throw away the holy book. So there was a commotion between Yusuf and his wife. Several years passed after the incident of finding the Quran, Yusuf and his friends went on holiday to Ibiza. There they visited a place called Al Eden. The place is actually a nightclub whose building design is similar to a mosque. Suddenly Yusuf felt that he really didn't want to enter the club, as if there was something in his heart that was forbidding him. His friends also protested because of Yusuf's strange behavior, as if he didn't want to enter the club, as it was prohibited by Islam. Something inside me forbade me from entering that club. I decided to leave and my friends at the time said the same thing as my partner said you, Yusuf, are not even a Muslim, why are you bothered by that place, said Yusuf Oak. After feeling the turmoil in his heart, Yusuf finally felt that it was his nature to get closer to Allah. From there, Yusuf began looking into the teachings of the Islamic religion. He met several converts to Islam to do research on Islamic teachings and even discussed heaven and hell with the priest. Yusuf finally looked for a way to become a Muslim through his acquaintances. Yusuf Oak at the end of his lecture also reminded converts everywhere to stick to their faith. Islam experienced rapid development in England. Yusuf, who came from a Christian family, asked several people who had converted to Islam first. He also asked the priest about religion, a process he called due diligence. His decision to convert to Islam became stronger when he met a Muslim who could answer questions about Islam, such as Islamic explanations about Allah and the Prophet Muhammad. When various questions about Islam were answered, he felt confident about converting to Islam. Yusuf contacted a mosque near his house and recited the Shahada, which is a requirement for converting to Islam. From here, Yusuf began his transition to becoming a Muslim, starting from abandoning habits that are not permitted by Islam, to growing his sideburns and always trying to pray at the mosque. To be honest, this transition is not easy. I also know that for women who want to convert to Islam, the transition is more difficult. My advice is to be steadfast and firm in their stance. 
Women who want to convert to Islam need greater strength, said Yusuf. What also helped him convert to Islam was the study group in London Steps to Allah, which was founded by Muhammad Hilal, who is also a descendant of the founder of the Muhammadiyah organization in Indonesia, K. H. Ahmad Dalin. This study group focuses, among other things, on efforts to help British citizens who decide to convert to Islam. Yusuf Oak is an example of one of the many British citizens who converted to Islam. The number, according to 2019 data, is around 80,000 people. In Britain, an average of 5,000 people convert to Islam each year, said Adin Yunus, founder of humanitarian aid organization Penny Appeal. In England itself, Islam is experiencing rapid growth, according to the latest census, held in 2021. Census results show that the number of Muslims in England reached 3.9 million or 6.5% of the total population. In the 2011 census, the proportion of Muslim citizens was 4.9%. In a decade, the number of Muslims in Britain rose by 1.2 million people. Over the same period, the Christian population fell from 59.3% to 46.2%, around 27.5 million people, still the largest religion in the UK. Those who declare themselves to have no religion are around 22.2 million people or 37.2% of the total population. Hindus are around 1 million people, 1.7%, Sikhs 524,000, 0.9%, Buddhists 273,000, 0.5%, and Jews 271,000, 0.5%. The question about religion was included in the census for the first time in 2002. The National Statistics Agency said that, although this question was not required to be answered, around 94% of citizens revealed the religion they adhered to. Deputy Director of the Census, John Rothsmith, said, Today's data highlights the increasingly multicultural society in which we live. The percentage of people who identify their ethnic group as white, English, Welsh, Scottish, Northern Irish, or English, continues to decline. While this remains the most common answer to the ethnic group question, the number of people who identify with other ethnic groups continues to increase, he explained. However, the picture varies depending on where you live. London remains the most ethnically diverse region in England, with less than two-thirds identifying with a minority ethnic group, while under one in ten identify this way in the Northeast, he said. But despite the ethnically diverse nature of society, 9 in 10 people across England and Wales still identify with a British national identity, with almost 8 in 10 doing so in London.